on this campus, the legends literally cement their handprints on the legacy just a few steps away from Bryant-Denny Stadium. This is the home of the Alabama Crimson Tide. Coaches like to say no game is more important than any other. When you have a couple of top 10 teams ready to square off, yeah, that one carries a little more weight. As we'll see the number one team in the country, the Georgia Bulldogs, taking on the sixth ranked team in the land, the Alabama Crimson Tide. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. Georgia likely to kick it deep to get things started. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. First down for this offense. They'll leave it with him. Gets it out to the 20 after he pick up a four. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Looking downfield, it's Milro getting some heat. And the quarterback caught up two and sacked at the 12. It has been said that the other team's quarterback must go down, and he must go down hard, and he did. <laughs> and often is good, too. The most you can get to him, but great job by the defense rushing the quarterback, understanding pass, and getting the big fella on the ground. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Going deep. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. And money down is where you see defenses really understand where the sticks are, play great pass defense, know what's coming, and get off the field. Looks as if the Tide will punt it away. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. A fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. They'll try the run. Fights off a defender. And he fights his way forward, gets away from one, but not much doing on that one. That back had nowhere to go. Defensive line ate up the blocks. How about the linebackers swarming in, coming in and making a great play on the ball here? Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Pulls it in, it's Etienne. And he jukes the first guy, made him miss, and picked up a few before being brought down. This defense is gonna have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, but they've gotta keep their eye on him when he runs routes, too. He is a versatile back. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Touch pass on the jet sweep. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work against this defense. And as an offense, you've got an unconventional call. You're trying to get your receiver the ball using pre-snap motion. But you've got to do a better job up front blocking. You couldn't get it done, and now it sets up fourth down. Georgia sends out the punt team. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Here comes that Alabama offense. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on the fields. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. Yeah. 
the pull and throw off the RPO. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Great play by the cornerback. He was just way too physical at the point of attack. He beat his man trying to block him, and he tackled that receiver on the screen. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. To the air, it's Milrow. Uncorks one. He's got it. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Well, not a lot the defense can do on that play. They got a curl route. They're playing zone coverage. Everybody got dropped to their spots correctly, but there was just way too much velocity on that throw. They didn't have a chance to break that one. Alabama with a first and ten here. The give to the running back from the shotgun. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. So you get stuffed on first down, and now you have the offensive coordinator thinking a little bit. Yeah, we're probably going to have to throw it now on this second play. But what are we going to see defensively? Now that they know we're throwing, might they blitz us? Do I have to leave more guys in to block? There's a real cat and mouse game going on right now between these two coaching staffs. Fires to the wideout. Had the pick in his hands and couldn't hang on, and you just won't see that from him very often. It'll be third down. Oh, and on defense, you just got to be able to finish that play. That defender had the football in his hands. He's just got to catch it. That should have been an interception. Now facing a third and long. He's looking downfield to throw. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. Well, we got a third and this long. Everybody knows what's coming. It's going to be a pass. Defensive linemen get to tee off. They know exactly what's coming. Go get the quarterback. It is your dream. That is what you live for. It's what you practice in the offseason for. I want sacks just like that. Alabama will bring the punt team on the field. That last punt basically flipped the field. They'd like to do it again. And the punt hits at the six, and they can't down it, and it'll be a touchback. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this one. After picking up a couple at second and eight. He'll keep it himself. And after the stop, that is going to put a bow on this first quarter. Really nice job by the defense shutting down all the options. Don't let him get into his reading phase. Go get him right now. Play sound. And more importantly, tackle him and get him on the ground. Back to throw, it's back. He finds his man. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. One of the things I love about this defense, they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the number. That is so well done. Georgia lining up to put it away. He'll try to really get into this one. Here's the fair catch, and he'll make it close to the 20-yard line. The tied offense rolls onto the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front, they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Finds his man down the middle. They'll keep this drive moving by picking up the first down. They have it at the 36. 
There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. From the gun, the ground game. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Out of the gun, the running back has it. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Listen, I know that's not a huge game, but those run plays add up. They make you tackle the back every single play. Physically, you have to get some guy on the ground. It takes its toll throughout a fourth quarter game. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. Grabbed behind the line, it's Bernard. That'll be enough for the first down as they stop him at the 43-yard line. We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And of course, he said the open one, but we know who he really wants to go to on third down. The best one. <laughs> I mean, I think the open one, obviously the politically correct answer, but you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with. You know exactly where he's going to be. You got that bond and that trust. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. I like offenses being creative. I'm not sure if that was the best place to call that play. I think this offense needs to think about just doing things a little bit more by the book. They've got a lot of good playmakers. You don't have to reinvent the wheel this early in the game. Here comes the offense on second down. Back to pass, it's Milrow. Unloads to the wideout. What a job to lay out and make the catch. Man, I love those guys that are willing to put their body on the line. And he does it right here, man. Just lays out. That ball's coming in. You can see it from several yards out, making that play, laying out, keeping the football from touching the turf. Great concentration, great effort by the receiver. Finally, this offense starting to shake the cobwebs and get things moving. It's first and ten. He's got an open man. He gets it all the way down to the five-yard line. A terrific catch and run before he stops. Yeah, and I tell you what, when you stick these fast suckers in the slot, they don't have to be big. But you get those guys that are so quick in the slot, they can get great matchups, and I can get the ball to them quick because they're such dynamic playmakers. They've hit them with back-to-back -back chunk plays. Now it's first and goal. Touchdown, Crimson Tide! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the PAT makes it 7-0. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown. And the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. They're lining up to boot it away. And he'll bring it back. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive moment. Catch in the middle. It's love it just keeps moving and he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch the offense lines up at the 40 they've got a first down looking to move it through the air throws to the wideout 
Got it in the middle. It's Lovett. Big play for this offense, and they get it to the 32. Nice play design on that one. You make it easy for your quarterback, too, because it's easy to see what's happening right in front of you. Over the middle of the field, you can see where defenders are dropping. You can see where the soft spots are in zone coverage. And just a really nice job by the QB locating his guy and making an accurate throw. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the wideout. Got him downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Nice job by the receiver on the in route there. And how about the speed after he made his break? He was able to actually separate a little bit from the DB, helping out his QB on that one. Georgia ready to dial it up on another first down. Looking to pass. It's back. He caught it. And he wanted to score badly, but the defense wrestles him down at the two. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. They'll put the tight end in motion. Looking to pass on second down. Snagged in the end zone! Touchdown, dogs! Yeah, and the passing game comes through, man, and we need more of that in the second half. An extra point away from tying this football game. You trailed a little bit in the first half, stayed calm. If this passing game can continue to heat up, look out in the second half. Lining up to add another. Splits those uprights right in half. The offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock. You get that touchdown right before the half, build the momentum, and the last thing you need to do is mess it up by allowing a big kickoff return. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Running out of time here in the first half, they're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Just searching and working for the running room as he gets it out to the 26. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. second half, Alabama will kick it off. Let's see if he can make a play on the return. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, it just feels like they just haven't been as physical. For this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing, that get that one positive play, and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. And just a short, safe pass play, they pick up a few. The defense, man, it helps you a lot when you can be a linebacker corners or safety anybody and you see the QB throw the football now I can break on the football right away and limit gains like right here on this play decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down oh they really could have used that catch their physical pass defense it brings up a fourth down tie game here early in the second half and offensively you're hoping to get something going but after that incompletion it kind of kills all of your momentum this quarterback is really going to have to lock in here for the rest of this game they're going to Georgia sends out the punt team coverage team able to put a stop to that return at the 42 yard line here comes that Alabama offense and in a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. You got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. 
Palmer, now use it against him. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space, see if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. Grab in the backfield. It's Haynes. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. Quarterback just trying to spit it out to his running back in the flat there, but the defender all over him. As soon as he caught that football, he went down for a loss. They've got some work to do on this third and long from the 40. Looking downfield, it's Milrow. It's caught. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep you got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down wants to throw on first down caught in the backfield it's Haynes didn't pick up a lot there moved it forward just a few I want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible and sometimes it doesn't work in the running game I can throw it to him. I can try to create some space out wide, dump him the football, let him make some catches, and see if I can't get some big plays out. That completion leaves us with second and medium. They keep attacking through the air. Grab behind the line. It's well. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Well, that receiver's looking at his teammates like, guys, what's up? You're not going to block for me on the screen? Seriously? I mean, I just lost yards on a screenplay. How does that happen? A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Complete downfield. They are on the move as they pick up the first down. They'll spot it at the 28. You know, it's a nice throw by the QB there. When you throw into running backs, you got to make it easy on them. So you want to put it right on their body, make the catch simple, and let them go to work like they did just there getting that first. Alabama rolling quickly downfield, set up with another first down. He's looking to throw it. Fires a ball, and now it's picked off. Looking for more room. He's at the 40, the 20, and he will roll into the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia! Georgia. It is one thing to come up with the interception. No, 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 don't stop there. Turn it into a score. Make a big play and don't be content. That's right, go out and make an even bigger play, and he does it. He makes the pick and then takes it all the way back to the house. Looked like a wide receiver, for goodness sakes. Turn it on the Jets, making the big play. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. That makes the score Georgia 14, Alabama 7. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The tied offense rolls onto the field. The give to the tailback. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. So first down didn't exactly go according to plan. Let's see what they can dial up on second down. Uh, Reese, I got him right where I want him. Okay, I'm going to throw the football. Now I can get back in shotgun. Let's forget the running game stuff. We're going to play a little pitch and catch and see how good that secondary is. Hand off from the gun. They'll knock him down after a pickup of one to the 18. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team's being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Throws for the tight end. Pulls it in. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. The 
fires this offense with a fresh set of downs. He'll do it himself. Makes a man miss. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Yeah, it happened to QB. He calls his own number and all these options. Obviously, multiple plays. He decides to stick with it. Get some positive yards. And, and now, what's next off of that? What's my next read off of that? How am I going to mix things up and keep this defense off balance? Now on second down. On the ground, it's Haynes. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. How about the job by this defense? They, they knew what they were getting into. A really good running back. We talked to him this week. It, it was the main focus point of this offense. Stopping the run game, stopping the run game. Boy, have they showed up and showed out and answered that challenge. Third down after the run. Looking to throw for it. Shoots it to the left. A strike downfield. And there was lots of space as he gets it to the 39-yard line. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. They'll give it to the back. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. you got to give this defense credit because they have bottled this guy up all game long. He's one of the best running backs in all of college football. Everybody was expecting him to have a big one today. Don't tell that to this defense, though. They've played with great effort. They've gotten hats to the football, and they have been able to shut him down. Dropping back, it's Milrow. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away, incomplete. Well, you know what they say, tips lead to picks. To the offense, they're lucky that one was an interception. Certain moments in the game you know are just a little bit bigger. Here's one of them. Big play coming on third and long. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Unloads to the right. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. Interesting call here for the head coach, too, because you need a touchdown. Now it's fourth and long. You could kick the field goal and cut into the lead, but it depends on how much you trust your defense right now. They may go for this one, guys. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. It is good! And look, obviously you would have loved to score a touchdown there, but you did the important thing. You kicked a field goal, you're now within one possession. Can your defense get you the football back and can your offense drive the field and put it in the end zone? This is what you practice for. Let's see if they can go execute, fellas. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. The give as they work on that clock. Works ahead for a couple, they'll stop him at the 27. I know exactly what I have to do here. Defensively, we've got to get the stop. So we're playing run. We're selling out to run because we're thinking they're going to run the football. And we got three timeouts. Let's use them wisely. Look, let's use those timeouts, save as much clock as we can so our offense has some time on the clock to do some damage when they get the football back. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. An unforced error there. They don't get the snap off in time. That is a completely avoidable penalty. The quarterback just went into brain lock and lost track of the play clock. Trying play action. Tackled immediately after the catch. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm. 
This is the type of play that could be a pivotal moment. Tight game, third and long coming. Looking to throw its back. That pass not close as he got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They've been trying all game long. Different ways to affect him weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy, and that's why the ball falls in. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. They make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. Here comes that Alabama offense. You want to talk about having a weapon to bail out a drive? David, that's why kickers are so important after that long field goal. And listen, important is a relative term. We need to make longer passes and get better gains so we don't have to kick long field goals, Palmer, again on offense. And they've got the weapons to do that, David. They just got to be able to dial those plays up. Guys have to be able to make them one-on-one -on -one to make life easier on this kicker, who is so important to this team. And he gets out of bounds to stop the clock as the offense moves closer, trying to pull it out. And the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football, had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. They just dialed up one big play. Let's see if they've got another one on first and 10 from the 35. A little screen to the running back. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. I'll tell you what, if you want to be overzealous, if you want to be a blitzer all the time, I like running the screen right behind him. Did a great job throwing the screen. Almost broke this one for a long game, but it just keeps the defense a little bit more honest if you want to start bringing a lot of pressure. He's looking for an open man on second down. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Touchdown tie! And with that, they've got the lead here in the second half. Who can you count on in those big moments? Who can make those big plays? Who do you trust? And they trust the receiver to run a go and to run right by the DB. He makes the play, breaks the tie, takes the lead for this football team. Needs this one to push the lead to a field goal. And he knocks it through, and the lead is a field goal here in the fourth quarter. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they cap things off with a scoring toss from 27 yards out. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five just never had a chance to shake loose and he'll be brought down at the 24. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle. Understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Big play out of the gate to start this drive and here they come again. He's going to pass. Works the middle of the field. You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late. And they're going to try to tackle everybody in bounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. You got to attack the sidelines. You got to throw first down. You got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. The hurry up now. Second down. Clock kicking. Back to pass. It's back. Looking to the big tight end. Got his man downfield. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. The dogs come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. Catch in the middle. It's dealt. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there. And he stopped from getting the first down. Coming into this one, I thought this guy was going to be a monster. He was going to put up huge numbers. We know this is a big part of the offense week in, week out. The defense has done a great job clamping down on him. That is only his second catch so far in this game. 
He'll spike the ball to try to save every precious second he can. Third and short from the 22. Is the field goal unit getting ready, or is this already four down territory? To the ground to try to move the chains. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. They'll get the timeout with five seconds remaining to play. And they are coming out for what will be a huge field goal attempt. They'll get the timeout with five seconds remaining to play. Makes this one, and it'll be all tied up in the final minute. And it's right down the boulevard. And they tie the game in the final seconds. And this kicker has ice water in his veins. Fourth quarter, you need to make the field goal to tie it up, and that kid just drilled it. We've got a dandy going here, all tied up in the fourth quarter and about to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. From the gun, running back gets to give. They make the stop of the 19 after a pickup of five. Now, when I'm, when I'm an OT and I start to get in this territory, I gotta think, I gotta be thinking touchdown. Like, what are my plays that I can go to now? I ran the football and showed a little bit of conservativeness. Now I gotta take advantage of a shot out wide. What's my best go to play in this situation? Scanning the field, it's Milrow. Unleashes to the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama! They jump on top here in OT. If this dude were a kitchen knife, you would be slicing the tomatoes so thin your in-laws would never come back to your house. <laughs> well, that'd be a good thing. I don't know if I want my in-laws to come back anyways, but he's been on fire. He's been absolutely torching this defense. They've had absolutely no answers for him. This extra point would give them a seven-point lead in OT. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. They know what's in front of them. They have to answer that score with a touchdown. He wants to throw. Got it in the middle. It's ETN. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. And a great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting the football, letting them get some positive yards. This crowd rising up, sensing that its defense needs some help. On second down, he'll fire. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. That was a good play on the ball, getting his hand up and getting the tip, getting the deflection. Ball bounces up in the air, falls to the ground, incomplete. Defense. Third down, and they need a touchdown to stay in the game. Quick pass to the left, trying to get it to the marker. 
Gets out of bounds after the big play, and they'll be set up in business with a first and goal. And I like it. Third down and short, and this offense stays aggressive. And now they're set up. Forget the field goal. We're not looking for three now. Now set up in a first and goal, trying to get a touchdown. Dropping back, it's back. Going for six. And he really wanted to get the touchdown there, but it's incomplete. Well, that last incompletion is a good example of why your timing has to be so good as a quarterback because the windows, they open and they close so quickly in this part of the field. Now second and goal and right in the teeth of this noise. He's looking to throw. Makes the grab. Touchdown, Bulldogs. They got it in the end zone. Now a decision to make with a point after. They need this extra point to send it to double overtime. And the extra point was good. We play on first down here in the second overtime period. Use the play fake, now to throw. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. He's looking to throw. Snagged in the middle. It's Thomas. When you play zone and you drop back, you're dropping back to a spot. And that means there's going to be holes, and the quarterback has to do a good job of reading it, seeing it, throwing it between those holes. He does a really nice job there. Makes the defense pay for playing zone coverage. This crowd knows this defense needs them right now. They'll try to run for it. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chain. Man, I do not want a guy that will dance. I want square shoulders to the line of scrimmage, take the snap, secure the football, play physical, and fall forward. Nice job by that running back getting the first down. It is getting loud as this crowd tries to help its defense. To the air, it's back. Fires into the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. You simply don't see that very often. A quarterback of this guy's caliber missing a guy wide open in the end zone. He makes those throws in his sleep. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Right back up top on second and ten. Touchdown, dogs! They strike first here in overtime. That's his third touchdown pass of the day. The defense has no clue how to respond right now. No, and the defense has had absolutely no answer. He's been on the money. He's been on fire, making the right decisions and just carving this defense up. Second overtime, and they'll have to go for two. He's looking to pass. They got it. Executed beautifully, and the lead is eight in double OT. Now on first down, they need to answer with a touchdown. Comes out throwing on first down. And he drops it. Just took his eye off of it at the last minute. 
Well, quarterback had exactly what he wanted there. He had his big fella work in the middle of the field. He thought that was going to be an easy pitch and catch. Not so much. It's a mental error by the tight end. They got to clean that up. After the incompletion, they're facing a second and 10 from the 25. He's looking to throw. This time it's complete. Well, it's a nice job by the defender. They're closing the gap with the wide receiver. They're going to complete the hitch pass, but he's able to run right up on him, get him to the ground for a minimal game. Huge third down to keep the drive alive. They need a touchdown on this possession. On third and short, they'll go to the power running game. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Yeah, that's a really good job by the defense because when you get in that third and medium area, listen, you got to be worried about the run and the pass. Did a good job playing both. Got it stopped. Now forcing a fourth down. Fourth down, and here's the ball game right here. On fourth down, they'll try to throw it. Unloads to the wideout. He makes a catch. And they finally get him to the ground. An easy conversion for this offense. Defense not exactly the perfect fourth down call there. First and goal in overtime, and they have to answer with a touchdown. Trying to barge their way in. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Yeah, what a great job by the defense. You've got to understand, it's physical time, right? They want to run the football when they start getting inside the five. Nice job getting penetration, getting the tackle for the loss. And lost ground on first down. Now second and goal from the five. Looking for a man. It's Milrow. Floating away. With that, now a two-point conversion away from triple overtime. And what a great response by this offense going down the field, scoring the touchdown. Now, i got to go for two. I know the new overtime rules. They changed this years ago. Jesse, you should work on this in practice. What's your go-to two-point play right here? I'll tell you, after running the ball as well as they did on that last touchdown, I could see them doing it again. I think they've got confidence in the big fellas up front to get it done find a way into the end zone and be more physical. They need this two-point conversion to send us to triple overtime. They'll try to slam it in. They cannot convert. A defensive stop will end it in a two-point victory in overtime.